How's it going, everybody? This is Ableton Certified Trainer Brian Funk, a.k.a. AfroDJMac, and I'm here to talk to you about a new feature in Ableton Live 10 called Capture. So, whenever you have a MIDI track record enabled, Ableton Live is listening to everything you do, kind of like Big Brother. But this is actually a good thing because this will allow us to capture ideas before we even hit the record button. And I know sometimes when I'm playing around coming up with ideas, Things might be feeling really good because it's loose, it's free, I'm not worried about actually recording, but once I hit that record button, the anxiety sets in and you start to feel the pressure of recording. Capture will free you from that. So basically, whenever you have a MIDI track that's record enabled, live is listening. So I'm gonna just play a little beat here. Little beat, that's it. Did not record it you'll notice we've got this extra little button here on the top of Live's display. This is the capture button. We can press that to capture what we've recorded. Now there's actually even a shortcut. If we hold down the record button on push and then press the new button, we get our clip that I just played. And that has been put into this mini clip right here. Now Live is guessing the tempo so if you notice that my tempo, I think was at 110 and it's changed it now to 96.5. And it's made some guesses about what I was trying to do. And it's given me this MIDI clip, which is awesome because maybe I just did that. I liked what I had and it, I'd wanted to just get what I did. And live has remembered that. What's also really cool about this is you don't have to think about setting up tempos and recording to metronomes before you actually get into the feeling of making some music. You just play and you get your sounds. And that's more like I think real musicians play. If I pick up my guitar, I'm not setting up a metronome, I'm not thinking about this stuff, I'm just playing until I get something that I like. This is what Capture lets us do. And in fact, we can take this a step further, and I'm just gonna close that out a little bit so you can see what's going on. And I'm just gonna let this clip play, and just see what happens if I add some hits in. Let's say I like that. I'm gonna go to my capture button and live has captured my claps. Just like that. So it knew I had a clip playing and live intelligently realized that I wanted to add that to my playing clip. So when we have nothing going on in our track, we don't have the playhead going and we're just jamming along, live will intelligently guess the tempo and make us a clip. It's gonna guess somewhere between 80 and 160 BPM. So if you wanna do something slower or faster, it might be a good idea to set that tempo in advance so Live understands what you're doing. But now when we create a new clip, so I'll just add a new instrument. We'll just take, uh, let's just take, I'm gonna get a operator, you know, something simple, nice sub bass and I'll play my piece of music. And I'm just gonna add some drum, uh, some bass line to that. Right? I'm gonna hold down the record button and press new. And it has recorded my little bass line. So again, when you're just in the moment, Capture will get what you're playing and put it into clips. Couple little points that might help you get better results. It's good to start on the downbeat and end on the downbeat. So you'll notice when I did this, I started with my first note and I also ended with my first note. That'll just make uh, Live's job a little bit easier. Uh, maybe we'll just add another instrument and I'm just gonna grab anything here. Let's grab my bells and kalimba synths here. See what this sounds like. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna press play and jam for a little while. And then I'll hit capture and see what we get. I apologize, this isn't quantized.
Okay, right, we just did that. Live is still playing. I'm going to hold record, press new. And notice what happened. We've got our last two bars. Since our other clips were two bar clips, all of these here were two bar clips, live assumes that I want another two bar clip. Now, that might not be the case. Let's say I wanted some other notes in here. We can just move around our loop brace. We'll just pretend that I was happy with these four bars, and I can just go there and adjust that. And now... Again, this musical example is just that, an example. But what it shows is that I'm able to capture, you know, to use the phrase capture, I'm able to capture my ideas without worrying about recording. And it's a nice, like, uh, relief of stress. You know, you don't feel the pressure, like, oh, no, the red light's going. You just kind of play. And when you find something you like, hold shift, press new, I'm sorry, hold record, press new, or hit the capture button up here. And then live gives you what you were doing. And then you can go back and figure out what you want. But you don't have to worry about it. So this is a feature that has just made... Uh, coming up with ideas so much easier, so much more fun and stress-free and carefree. So Capture in Ableton Live 10, awesome new feature. Check it out.